Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error with the game. Now, the first step is to check for any outages on EA website. So the link is provided in the video description. You can go to this website and check if there is any kind of outage for FC26. Now, the next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, you can switch to different network and then check. You can use cell phone hotspot. So you can turn on the data on your phone Turn on the hotspot in your phone and then switch to your phone network and then you can check. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. Next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this you can go to the game installation folder, open the game folder and then find the game exe file. Make a record on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on ok, launch the game and then check. Still not working, make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct. At the bottom right here, you can see the date and time, make a right click, click on adjust date and time, make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. Then go to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you're using any third party antivirus, then allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, go to privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then select all the exe files. So select FC26, then browse all and then select this EA anti-cheat game service launcher. You can add this one also and even the FC trial and then browse all apps and then open installer E anti-cheat. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow on the app, click on browse. Go to the game installation folder and go to, uh, select all the exe file, all the FC26 exe file. In my case, it is already added. Once you add the game, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform power cycles, shut down your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer, turn off the Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds, restart the Wi-Fi router and then plug in the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check. Next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then copy all these commands one by one. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. All the commands are provided in the video description. Now, once you run all these command, now restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to network and internet and then click on network sharing and center. Now click on your internet over here and then go to properties. Now on this, now over here select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then click on properties. Select use following DNS server address, type in 8, sorry, 8, and then 888. For alternate, type in 8844. Click on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK. Close this. Now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Now, in case you are already using like you are already using Google DNS or maybe other uh, DNS server. In that case, you can select automatic over here and then click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. You have to launch the game and then check if that does not work. Here you can see Internet Protocol version 6 TCP IPv6. You can uncheck this box and then click on OK and then launch the game and then check if that does not work. Uh, once you're done playing the game, if it is working, once you're done playing the game, you can put a check over here and then click on OK and follow the next step is still not working 
perform network reset now before you perform network reset make sure that you have the wi-fi password because once you perform network reset when you try to connect to your wi-fi it will be asking for your password to perform network reset go to internet um, network and internet over here and then go to advanced network settings and here you can see network reset click on reset now click on yes during the network reset your system will restart and then connect to your wi-fi enter the password and check next step is to use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can switch to wired connection so uh, use the ethernet connection and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can go to windows update and then check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart the computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to verify the game files now if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties I don't have the game on Steam. I have the game on Yap, so I'll show you a different game. Properties, install file, install files tab, and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. For Yap users, you can go to Manage, click on Repair. Once the repair is done, launch the game. Now, the last step is to launch the Yap in offline mode. Mode. Now, for this, you can go to Yap, click on these three horizontal lines, and then click on Go Offline. Click on Yes, I'm sure. And over here you will see the game click on the game and this will launch the game and once the game is up and running so make sure uh, let the game run and once you are in the menu screen make sure right now it's loading e and cheat so just ignore it once uh, like I'm going to go online so but you make sure that it's on the menu screen and once it is in the menu screen you can go online and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.